this is Francisco with Go Engineer. In this video, I would like to demonstrate some tools that SolidWorks provides to reuse design data and reduce repetitive work, as well as some automated processes in SolidWorks to speed up your designs. Here we have a robotic arm that needs some work done. We need to create the geared lever arm that will move the gripping arm as the rack moves back and forth, as well as other components. We start by creating a new SolidWorks part and a new sketch. In the sketch, we can start creating the profile of the gear that we need using SolidWorks sketch tools. But instead of manually creating the profile that was done many times in the past, we will use a previously created sketch that was saved into the SolidWorks design library. In SolidWorks, you can drag and drop commonly used sketches into the design library to use at a later time. In this case, I will hit cancel since I already have the sketch in my design library. Let's now turn this 2D sketch into a 3D model. Using SolidWorks Instant 3D technology, we can simply drag the sketch of the gear to the desired thickness. Holding the right mouse button and moving the mouse slightly, we can select the front view of the gear to create a new sketch. We will create the lever arm that will connect this part to the pin in the gripping arm. We select the face and select sketch in the heads up user interface. SolidWorks puts the tools that you may need right next to the cursor to help maintain focus and speed up the design process. Pressing the S key, we can activate the shortcuts toolbar. You can customize this toolbar to include the tools that you need the most. Notice how the toolbar keeps me focused in the design process and away from the command manager at the top of the screen. The sketch is ready to be extruded. Instead of selecting what end condition I want for this extrusion in the future manager, I will just double click the face that will define the thickness. SolidWorks automatically changes the end condition to up to surface, we just right click to accept. To remove some of the gear teeth that will not be used, we will create a new sketch in the same front face of the gear and create a center point arc. We do not need to create a closed sketch in SolidWorks to cut geometry. SolidWorks can use a single line entity to create a cut. All we have to do is specify the direction to cut. Next, we need to add the hole for the pin that will connect this part to the gripping arm. SolidWorks has a great tool to use for standard holes. The hole wizard tool provides thousands of different hole combinations to use so you don't have to look for standard measurements. Simply select the type of hole that you want and place it where you need it. Finally, we give custom properties to the file. The metadata that we give this part now will later be used to automatically fill out fields in the drawings block. Stay tuned for a video on tools to speed up the drawing process. We are now ready to assemble our part. We can easily make the part by simply dragging and dropping the part into the assembly. Because I dragged the part in while selecting the mating edge, SolidWorks automatically added the concentric and coincident mates that I needed to define the position in the assembly. To mate the end of the gear dump to the gripping arm, we can multi-select the faces to mate, and SolidWorks 2014 will automatically bring up the correct concentric mate in the heads up user interface. Next, we need to add a mechanical mate for the lever arm to move as the rack moves back and forth. This can easily be accomplished by selecting the pitch diameter of the sketch block of the gear, selecting the edge of the rack, and clicking the mate button in the heads up user interface. We now select the rack and pinion mate from the mechanical mates list. SolidWorks automatically finds the value of the pitch diameter and applies it. All we have to do is accept the mate. The lever arm now moves as the rack moves back and forth. This assembly, like many assembly designs, requires the use of hardware components. SolidWorks provides a toolbox of hardware components such as bolts, nuts, screws, and rings with millions of configurations to use. Simply drag the hardware component from the toolbox browser to add it to the assembly. Notice how SolidWorks automatically adjusts the size of the hardware. 
we can accept the hardware's parameters and place them where needed. Half of the assembly is complete. We can complete the second half by marrying the existing parts about the center plane. This reuse of design data saves time and helps maintain accuracy of the design. SolarWorks allows us to check and change the orientation of each part and even create office hand versions of parts if the design requires. Finally, we copy the bolts and nuts by using the copy with mates command. All we have to do is specify the corresponding main faces for the copied parts, and SolarWorks will take care of the rest. In just a few minutes, we have created over 20 parts in this assembly. We have now seen the powerful tools that SolidWorks provides to reuse the sun data and reduce repetitive work, as well as some automated processes in SolidWorks to speed up your designs. This has been Francisco with Go Engineer. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.